We should be right here Get through all this fear One of these days Cause when it comes around We should be right here One of these days This could be heaven This could be heaven That The Family Man has been a movie I've wanted to do the locations for for quite a while now. Every year around the holidays when I see this movie come on, it reminds me how I haven't done it yet and it makes me want to get back out on the road and seek the locations for it. But there's been a couple of things that have been delaying it for me. I'll touch on a few of those as we move along in this video, but primarily a couple of the main locations that I always set out to find for this movie are unfortunately no longer there. But I didn't want to let that stop me from going ahead and doing a filming location video for this particular movie. I always enjoyed this movie. It's one I really like. I always like watching it around the holidays. So this year I decided to go ahead and find it. Now, the movie was filmed in three different states, New Jersey, New York, and California. As far as the exterior locations go, everything that you see throughout the movie, nearly all of that was done in either New Jersey or New York. All the filming locations that were done in California were interiors with the exception of the one that I mentioned and I'll show you that when we get to that. So I wanted to go ahead and focus on the New Jersey and New York locations for this video. If I went to California for this, I wouldn't be able to show you almost anything that was done interior because a lot of it was done on sound stages. And there's very little that I could even go to California to show. So I wanted mainly to focus on the things I could show you which were in New Jersey and New York. So let's go ahead and get started. I hope you enjoy, and these are the filming locations for The Family Man. Now the very opening scene of The Family Man is a flashback to 1987 when Jack and Kate are at the airport. I'm actually going to touch on this location at the very end of this video because the movie also ends at this airport, and I'll shed a little light on where they filmed this. In the very next scene, the movie shifts to present day, and that's where we see a lot of Jack in New York City to start things out. Now, the apartment that was used for filming for Jack's apartment was in the Olympic Tower. This was actually one of the locations that was filmed on site. They were able to film inside of an apartment in this building, and one of the things they focused heavily on was Jack's closet. So they did build out the closet. It wasn't like this in the actual apartment that was used for filming, but they wanted to focus heavily on Jack's closet to show all his attire, to, to sort of set the tone, and uh, you get an idea of kind of the wealth that Jack has. But the apartment was there in the Olympic Tower, uh, the closet was the main thing that differed from what was actually there during filming. Now, the Olympic Tower is where the apartment was, but the entrance to Jack's apartment, where we see later in the film where he's coming and going, is not at the bottom of the Olympic Tower. It's actually at another location in New York City. Now, when you see Jack pull up in front of this building on his way to work, this is the Seagram's building in New York City. This is where the Lassiter Investment House was located for the movie The Family Man. This is where you see Jack pull up in front of this building. He tosses his keys to an employee working there and then he makes his way inside the building. Now, unfortunately, the Lassiter Investment House boardroom area and the Jack's office that was shown, shown during filming, that was all done on a soundstage in California. So that was all done clear across the country. So they did not film anything as far as the Lassiter Investment House inside of this building. However, they do show a few scenes of the interior of this lobby. You see Jack when he's leaving work on Christmas Eve, 
it's already dark. He comes out from the elevator bank area and into the lobby here where he talks to an employee at the desk. Well, I would have heard you get your ride. I'm thinking I'll walk tonight. That's a nice night, boy. I'll send your car home for you. That'll be fine. And Merry Christmas to you, sir. You too. Now, my favorite filming location scene of all the ones done in New York City would have been the one when Jack's walking home from work. This is when he leaves the Seagram's building at night and he comes out and he sort of stops and looks up and it's starting to snow. That was actually filmed around 3 a.m. They had to close down some streets in New York City. And as you can imagine, to do something like that is extremely expensive. So they did it in the middle of the night and then you got the darkness of the scene that they were looking for as well. Now, when Jack starts to walk out, this is when he looks down the road and sees the convenience store that was open, and he walks over there to get his eggnog. Now, I was actually surprised to learn that that store was actually a deli that was open at that location during filming, so they didn't have to convert anything. I always thought that they may have shot that on an interior set as well, or that if that location existed, they made it into what appeared to be a deli during filming, but in fact it was. So the convenience store was actually a deli, so it worked out perfectly. Unfortunately, that deli, that store, that location is no longer there. Uh, after filming, this became a clothing store, and unfortunately, I had learned that um, within like the last year or so, they tore this building and the large building that was right on the corner down which really disappointed me because I wanted to go and visit this location purposely to see both of those things because it's my favorite New York City scene in the movie, but they're, they're both gone. But, um, you know, when Cash and Jack come out of the store and come down to the corner, that building you see right here on the left is also one of those buildings that was taken down. So, you know, you think that you, there'd be a tall building in New York City right there on a the corner on Park Avenue that would be there when you, uh, you know, go back. But a lesson learned, this is one of those buildings that was actually t torn down too. Now, the one that served as the convenience store in the movie, the, the, you know, the deli, was only a couple stories. So it was sort of sandwiched in between two larger buildings. So when they took the one down on the left, they also took this one down as well because there was so much unused space above it. The one thing that I found really interesting though about this site during filming, and I thought it was always tied into the production of it, is when Jack and Cash are talking on the corner at night, if you look in the background at that building, you can see the windows that were lit up in the, in the pattern of a cross. So you can see that done, uh, you can see that in the background, and I always assumed that was done for filming. I always assumed that production had paid whatever building that was to turn on those lights on those floors to make that cross. and that was done to, to set up that scene. However, I have learned after you know watching the director's cut that that was completely coincidental. Those lights were already on. They just happened to catch that during filming, but I always thought that was something done intentionally through the movie production. So I thought that was a kind of a, a neat little coincidence during filming. If this house doesn't look familiar to you, as a house that was used in the family, man, it's for good reason. That's because unfortunately, the house that was used during filming of the family man for Jack and Kate's house was torn down, but it sat right here on this site. So this house has replaced the house that Jack and Kate lived in during filming. Now I have some old images that I'm gonna splice in here and show you how um, this is indeed where it's sat. I have some older street view images that also show, uh, you can see this house, as well as that house that both uh, appear in the movie in some of the different shots. But you can see right here, uh, this is where the house you know, once sat. Now, from what I understand, I found some old uh, realtor listings for the house and it, uh, some of the descriptions of it basically made it sound like if the house was to be sold, it was going to have to be sold with uh, demolition to occur and then uh, rebuild on the site. I don't know if there was a lot of problems with the structure of the house that they used in filming, uh, but be that as it may, that leads me to believe that's why it's no longer standing here. Now, this is one of those locations that I had wondered for a while and did some research to find out if the interiors were done at this location or not. So many of the interior scenes were done on a sound stage for this movie that I thought that it might be the case for this one. However, because of the old real estate listing for this house, it led me to believe that maybe they did indeed film inside of it before this house was sold and then torn down. 
However, I had learned that it was actually done on a sound stage. So they built everything for the interior of the house was done on a sound stage and unfortunately was not in the interior. That said, they still did a lot of exterior filming here at this house. A lot of scenes around the front of the house, in the yard, showing different angles of it. So even though nothing interior wise was done from filming, the exterior did feature a lot of things throughout the movie. And this is certainly one of the focal points of the movie and you see it a number of times. This is also where you see Jack walking away from the Seagram's building when Cash pulls up in the Ferrari. So it would have been right out here in front of this building as well. That's when, of course, Jack gets in the car with Cash and Cash takes him for a speedy ride around the city uh, in trying to fill Jack in on what's going on with him. Now, something uh, that was done during filming of that scene when Cash is racing through the city with Jack, uh, the beginning and end of that shot was done right here in New York City because you see Jack getting in and out of the car here. However, when they're kind of blazing through the city, when, when, when they're racing through the city and you can kind of see everything passing behind quickly, that was all done in Newark, New Jersey. So uh, it was too costly for them to film uh, a scene like that in New York City where they had to close down roads to get that. So they actually shot that in Newark. The list location here in Teaneck is where Jack is trying to find his house. He's returning from the city, trying to find his house, but he doesn't know how to exactly get there. So they show him come pulling up to this intersection right here, and you can clearly see that house in the background. It looks exactly the way it did during filming. That's where he would have stopped, and then he would have made a left turn, and he would have pulled right up here and stopped his car right here. That's when he puts down the passenger side window because he sees somebody outside here and it's Arnie. <laughs> so this would have been Arnie's house in the movie, The Family Man. Now Arnie would have been standing right here wrangling with some trash cans. Looked like he was sticking some stuff in it from Christmas morning, some wrappings that, and, and, and what have you. But you can clearly see this tree in that shot with Arnie as well as everything that matches up with this house here. You can see the front door. There's a light right here. And if you look closely, there's a couple stones that if you match up to the screenshot here, look exactly the way it did during filming. Another notable thing is off to the side here, there's like a little arch with like, it almost looks like a little gated door, um, but it, it, it all matches up perfectly. Excuse me, do you know where Marison Street is? <laughs> so this is where Arnie would have been talking and he thinks Jack is messing around because he's asking if he knows where Marison Street is and he's sort of like thinks that he's screwing around but really Jack has no idea what's going on. They also show Jeannie this would have been her house in the movie so Arnie calls out to Jeannie that you know we found Jack and she says something like where, where you been stranger or something along those lines. <laughs> Jeannie I found Jack. Oh there you are stranger. Where you been? But this would have been the exterior of Arnie's house for the movie The Family Man. Um, a little wrinkle to all this, though, is when Arnie is taking Jack back to his house. When they walk out the back door, you're led to believe it's from this house, but it was actually from a house that was here. Now, it's not this current house that was, that was um, used for that back door scene. It was actually a different house that sat here. There was a house, and I'll put an overlay of the image, there was an older home that was here that was torn down and they built this new house on the same site. The reason that I was able to tell that they did that is when Arnie and Jack walk out of the back of the house that once sat here. You can clearly see the side of this house as they walk in that direction. Suddenly every lingerie and the Newark Star Ledger represents a life that you can't have. So they would have left the back door of the old house that sat here and they would have walked 
in that backyard in that direction towards Jack's house, which would have sat right there. Ah, but look what you got. Look at that. Four bedrooms, two and a half bath, a partially finished basement. And you kids. And you can not only see the side of this house over their right shoulder, but on the left of your screen, as they get further in the yard, you also see this house come into the frame. It's just two kids, right? <laughs> so this house is where Arnie lived in terms of the front facade, but the house that they used for the back would have been here. And then Jack's house in the movie, the family man would have indeed been the house that sat right here at the time. So their houses would have been adjacent. They would have shared a backyard together. But the reality of what they did with the facade, um, it didn't match up. But when I looked at that scene closer and closer, I was able to figure out this is what they did. And I do find it somewhat interesting that both the house that Arnie's supposed to live in when they leave the back and the house, which would have been here, and the house that Jack did live in right here were both torn down after filming and both have been um, replaced by newer modern modern structures. But this is what they did with that scene here in Teaneck. So this house right here would have been Evelyn's house from the movie, The Family Man. Now they showed Jack and Kate going to the Christmas party. They would have shown Jack and Kate here in the foreground walking towards the driveway here. And they would have been going to the house here for the Christmas party. It was all lit up. Now something you definitely notice, um, the door. When Evelyn opens the door, it has a decorative paper with like a wreath on it. So you can see that from this angle at night and as well as when she opens the door. When Jack enters and has uh, meets Evelyn and her husband at the at the door there, he takes off his coat. When he walks to the right, he goes straight for the punch bowl, and you can see sort of like a bayish, like a bay window that's here. That was all visible in that scene. Now this location in Teaneck would have been where they showed Jack walking the dog at night. He would have come walking down this road right here with the dog, it was nighttime, and he was taking the dog out for a walk and he came in the direction that I'm filming from. Now, a couple of things you notice, um, a lot of the things you see along the sidewalk here, as far as the front yards of these houses are all visible in that shot. Some of the garden walls here, the railings with the steps, as you can see the embankments and, and, and um, brick and stone walls, those are all visible in that scene as he comes walking down the street in this direction. If you could take a dump sometime in this century, then we could go home where it's warm. If I can even remember how to get home. Now, I just spoke with one of the residents on the street here who was living in one of these houses during the filming of The Family Man. So she was telling me how the road was closed off uh, for several days. And she said um, they had a lot of fake snow. She said it was in November of 99 when they were filming the scenes here where Jack comes walking down the road with the dog. But she was talking about how some of the lawns had like fake snow. She said it was like a fabric and they kind of fluffed it up in places to make it look like the snow had fallen. And it was decorated as if uh, there was, you know, a snowfall around here. But she said it was actually pretty mild during a lot of the scenes that were filmed, at least on this particular street. Okay, I'm here in Closter, New Jersey, and this would have been the location that was used as Annie's school. This is where Jack would have been dropping her off. So he pulled right up alongside the front of the school and his minivan would have stopped right here. And you could see that sign in the, in the movie, as well as this tree and that flagpole. Okay, I came across the street here to give you a better view of this building that was used as Annie's school. The flagpole, you can see that in the movie. This sign, that tree, the facade of the school, all looks the same. But this was the sign that was used in the movie 
the family man except that this panel part here has been changed now it obviously is close it obviously says Closter public library in the movie it said t-neck and this this um, logo was not there during filming so this is either an updated sign or maybe they just put t-neck over the one that once was here but the the shape and everything is still the same you see the stakes uh, the posts in the ground these little decorative tops and the shape of the panel all matches up just as it did during filming there was a larger tree that was part of the tree lawn that's been removed as well as another one over here but all in all it looks very much as it did during filming of the family man Right here is the sidewalk where when Annie was getting dropped off, she was standing here talking to Jack who was parked right there on the road. And that's when he asked her, where does he do, what does he do now? Hey, Annie, where, where do I go now? He got it. And she says, he goes to work. And that's when he realizes he's a tire salesman. He gets tires? Why? Because you walk there. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but when Annie's walking up the sidewalk, you can see that portion of the building. I'm a tire salesman. Okay, I'm here in Sleepy Hollow, New York, and this building right here across the street from me is Big Ed's Tires. This is where Big Ed's Tires would have been filmed for the movie The Family Man. Now, there would have been a billboard right at the top up here said big ed's tires and then big ed's head would be here he was sort of like tipping his hat <laughs> and then the main showroom was right over here and these windows the showroom would have also been on the sides over here but the main windows that you would have looked in and out of uh with the with the showroom with the tires would have been right there when jack is first arriving here he comes driving down this road in this direction and that's when he catches glimpse of the bill, the billboard, the Big Ed's billboard that would have been right on the top of this building, right up here. Would have said Big Ed's with a picture of Big Ed. And that's when Jack is like, good Lord. Good Lord. Here's another view of Big Ed's tires where the service bays would have been. Now this building at one time was an automotive repair shop. I don't know if it was a full scale automotive repair shop, if it was just tires and that's also what they used it with Big Ed's. But where you see these awnings, all these awnings that are here with the windows underneath, each one of those was a bay door that you would have pulled your car in and out of. And I'll go ahead and put an image here that shows an older view of this building from roughly the same angle. But you could see how Right here is where they would have pulled all the cars in. This is the parking lot. That was where the, the, the block, the uh, cinder block wall was. And then this would have been the showroom with the tires. The Big Ed sign would have been up on top of the building, but more facing like that direction. It would have been right up here, but the main showroom windows are around here on the side. So when Jack gets to work for the first time during his flashback, he would have pulled right in through this parking lot right here and pulled into a spot. Now at the time, the back part of this parking lot here had like a cinder block wall that would have run all along the edge of the parking lot right here. You could see this building behind it. It's been uh, renovated. The uh, material on the exterior of it is a little different looking than it was during filming. But right here would have been that wall and it had some advertisements painted on it. And then when you swing around here, this is the Big Ed's so all these windows that you see here would have been bay doors that you would pull the car in to get it worked on. Morning, Jack. So when Jack was getting out of his minivan and he was walking towards Big Ed's tires, he uh, you know, ran into an employee who said hello to him, but he, you know, Jack was real confused because I mean, he knew he was supposed to be here, but he really didn't know it in what kind of capacity and it was all, all new to him because it's just part of his, his flashback. Okay, I'm here in Hackensack, New Jersey, and unfortunately I've lost daylight, but I still wanted to show you this location. This is obviously the Bloomingdale's. You see it on both sides of the building. But when 
Jack, Kate, and the kids go shopping, this is where they go to, and they show it from a little bit further back from the angle I'm showing you, but uh, it's a busy parking lot there, so I wanted to walk up here and show you. These glass windows, this embankment of windows, you can clearly see, as well as the way it goes down the side of the building, and there's sort of like some awnings that project outward over there. Those are all visible in that scene, as is the wall of the other building that's over there. The exterior certainly was shot from right here. However, the interior of this was not done on location. I went inside here to see if everything matched up or if anything matched up for that matter. Uh, the elevator bank didn't look like it did during filming and I have learned that that's because it wasn't filmed here at all. This was also filmed in California. This was all the way out at Saks Fifth Avenue in Beverly Hills. So they uh, did only the exterior shot in New Jersey. The interior scene was all done in California at, a, at Saks Fifth Avenue in Beverly Hills. Why don't we go to all the stores? Every single store in this godforsaken shopping mall. Wouldn't that be exciting? Now the bowling alley that was used in the movie The Family Man was one of those locations I was really looking forward to hopefully being able to visit. Obviously it was used in the movie, so I wanted to see it from that standpoint. But second of all, it also had just like a cool old school retro look to it that I really liked. Now, some of you may recognize this bowling alley or think that it looks familiar, and chances are you've probably seen it in another movie. This was the Hollywood Star Lanes, and it was actually featured in the movie The Big Lebowski, which is where a lot of people know and recognize it from. And as a matter of fact, they almost used the exact same lanes for both movies. If you remember the scenes uh, when, when the guys in The Big Lebowski were bowling and Jesus was there, they were right in those middle middle lanes, right around like 20 through 22. Same thing with Jack and Big Ed's tires, his bowling team. They were right there, right in the center of the of the lanes. Almost identical lanes that they were using, but it was situated right in that same part of the bowling alley. Now, unfortunately, the bowling alley closed in 2002, and it was torn down to make way for a new school. So The Family Man was probably the last movie that was actually filmed in there. Yes! Victorious! Ha <laughs> 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 All right! Well, actually, I, I do have one thing that I want to say to you. <laughs> and, God, I hope you like it. Now, there was one exterior scene that was shot in California, and that would have been the birthday scene. They were having like a party, like a, like a cookout for Kate's birthday, where Jack sings to her. That was actually done at a house in Pasadena, California, an undisclosed house that was in the, like the backyard of this house. Um, but that was the only real exterior scene that was done in California was was this one. Everything else that was done in California was either an interior of a building or on a sound stage. Now when Jack takes Kate out for their anniversary, you're led to believe that they go to New York City for the anniversary. Uh, the first location that they show is a restaurant that they're eating in and the second location is a place that they're staying for the night. Now. While you're led to believe that both of those locations were shot in New York City, unfortunately, both of those locations were actually shot in California, in the greater Los Angeles area. The first being the restaurant. Now, this was a restaurant that was on Melrose Avenue. It, uh, it is no longer there. It, the restaurant has since closed, uh, but be this as it may, it was not in New York. Uh, same for the second place, the place that Jack takes Kate to stay. Um, that was in Hancock Park. It was sort of like a like a bed and breakfast type of a place. Uh, that's when he you know, takes her in and then she's looking around and there's a scene where she looks out the window uh, where she sees the Washington Square arch. So you know, you're led to believe that that's the view from their window, but that was just an insert uh, that was just added in to production to make it seem like she was looking out her window and they were still in New York City. So both of those locations were set in New York City, but both of those locations were filmed in California. Okay, so right here are the windows that would have been the main showroom windows for the t Big Ed's tires. This would have been an all glass bank of windows. The billboard would have been right up here on the upper part of the building. 
and this would have been windows for the showroom as well as well as on the other side but when customers were inside uh and jack is helping the older gentleman that was right here in the front this is what they would have been filming in this direction for the money this is hands down the best radio we carry okay I guess I'll take him. You won't regret it. And as a matter of fact, when Jack is helping the, the guy, the older gentleman with his set, of, his set of tires, when you look out the window, you can see all these buildings right here, including these street signs. You can still see the route numbers. And um, give him 10% off for having the best customer. Now, when Peter Lassiter gets the flat tire, he comes right down this hill right here, and you can see the tire was already flat. Tire smells good. And he comes right down this road right in here and turns right into this parking lot right here, which would have been Big Ed's tires. Peter Lasseter's car would have been right here, kind of at an angle when he had the flat tire. Hey, how you doing today? It just blew out on me. I seem to have some sort of a blowout here. Why don't you let me take this one, Kenny? Huh? Okay, Chief. Now, the second time you see Jack and Kate enter what looks like a, a, an extravagant and lush uh, a, an apartment or, or a condo is the Beverly Wilshire Hotel. Uh, this would have been one of the perks of the P.K. Lasseter investment house uh, that he takes Kate to. But they shot the interior scene of that here at the Beverly Wilshire Hotel. So that's the interior that you're seeing here in this scene. It was not again in New York. This was yet again another location that they used in California. Now they did shoot a scene right out here in the front yard, if you remember, where Jack and Annie were playing in the snow. They would have been laying right out here. Uh, Jack would have been on the ground and Annie would have been kind of laying on his chest. And you can see this house off in the, on, in the background on the side. <laughs> Now something that looks different to the neighbor's house right here, there was a carport that extended over. This would have been the driveway that goes up alongside of it. And I just talked to the owner of this house and she said, yes, they did indeed do a remodel around the exterior of this house and they had to take that carport off. Uh, the house that used to sit here also sat further back. It was smaller, it was a little further back. The driveway did go alongside the house like you see here. Um, instead of there being a garage here that's attached, as you see in this house, it would have been, um, kind of see how there's a walkway here. The driveway would have extended back and then there would have been a garage there. So that's where Jack would have been when he was working in the garage. Jack would have been in the garage where Annie comes up the driveway and rings the bell. And that scene would have taken place right back there. What are you doing? Ringing my bell. But this is a very beautiful home that they built here on its site. I was just disappointed to know that the you know the house that was used during filming was torn down. But I still wanted to show you the site because this is where it was filmed. And as I mentioned, you can also see this as well. A couple other things that make it look a little different here. Uh, there were a couple trees that were here in the tree lawn. It's a very narrow tree lawn, but you can actually see this one. The stump is still here from where it was removed. So that also throws it off, threw it off uh, as far as like what it looked like visually. But this is the house that they put here on the location of where the house that was used in the family man once sat. Later in the movie, this is where Jack is walking the dog down the side of the road. And he comes right along here, right about where I'm standing, and steps in front of this telephone pole and steps into the park right here. And this is where he lets the dog loose and the dog runs in that direction. Now, a few things have changed from this location since filming. There's been some trees that were cleared out there that were kind of obstructing the view of some of these buildings that are along there. Those are homes. 
Uh, you can kind of see them a little more clearly now, but also the, the trees, there were some mature oak trees that were along here that have since been removed. In particular, there was one that had a stump that was very visible when Jack turns and goes into the park. Now, the reason I know Jack stepped in front of this telephone pole and not the others that are down the street further is because of the markings on it. You can clearly see it still has the tags that are here, red, yellow, yellow, orange, and well as, this, as well as this um, pipe that runs down. See how it gets to the bottom and it doesn't quite get to the ground? And it has this wire that extends outward over here. That's all visible when Jack steps in front of it. So if you look at that scene over again, telephone pole it's more like at this angle though you can because it's it's blocking you can't see a sign here but you'll see the tags you'll see this pipe that runs down here and right down here at the bottom is where this part projects outward you can see that down by his feet when he's walking now when jack is standing here in the park where i am he's looking up at the snow falling from the sky through the tree limbs. You can see this house behind him. There would have been a tree that was roughly here that has been removed, but you can see how the windows, one, two, three, that are double stacked, top, bottom, top, bottom, bay windows, and then another window over here, white house. You can see that house in the background behind Jack when he's standing there in that scene. Now this house right here would have been visible in the background when Jack returns here to see if Kate does indeed live in the house that she was living in during his glimpse. So when he goes to the front door of the old house that used to sit on this site, when he's asking the guy that answers the door if Kate was there, you can see this house in the background and you clearly see those windows with, uh, it almost looks like X's beneath. You can clearly see that visible in the background uh, behind Jack when he's talking to the guy at the house. Can I help you? Is Kate here? Does Kate live here? Kate? No, there's nobody named Kate here. Now, another New York City location that I really liked was the scene where Jack goes to find Kate before the end of the movie. Now, Kate was moving to Paris, France, and he was on his way over there in the limousine. And when they pull in, you see this section of New York City. These are the Washington Mews. This is a really cool old historic strip of buildings. Uh, you can also see part of the road is like a cobblestone. So they show the limo pool in here and that's when Jack gets out and goes into uh, number 14, which would have been Kate's. Now, Kate was on her way out of this building. Um, she was moving and literally uh, the process of moving was taking place when he arrives. However, when you see Jack inside this building you're not in new york city anymore this unfortunately was all the way out in california so this was a location that was done out in california for the interior of this so again didn't match up what you see from interior to exterior but i still wanted to show you the exterior spot and inform you of where the interior was filmed Now the movie The Family Man begins and ends at the airport and you're led to believe that both of those scenes were actually at an airport in New York City. However, they were actually done on site at LAX in Los Angeles. So you do hear them talk about the airport, uh, you, you do hear them talking about uh, airports in uh, New York City for those scenes, but the actual filming themselves took place in LAX. This could be heaven